All right, so this will be the follow-up to the introduction here, just kind of getting started video on all the things that you need to do to actually get started. One, of course, is a download Xcode, and I've only, I'm only familiar with um, downloading Xcode, that's the software they're gonna be using here, as part of the, uh, the developer program. Uh, but, oddly enough, I realized that uh, you can use the App Store, okay, not the iTunes App Store, but that actual App Store application that um, if you'd done a recent update to your computer should have magically found its way um, in there. And so this is the App Store I'm talking about. Oh, this guy right here. All right. And if you type in Xcode, you should find it right here. Da, da, da. It says it's free, and oddly enough, it gets horrible, horrible reviews. Um, people talk about it crashing and, and never installing and all this stuff. So I'm a little bit weary about recommending that you guys um, go and install it through there. Who knows, maybe you won't have a problem. But um, I've never had a problem installing it from the official Dev Center. So after you do sign up and enroll, um, it you know, one of the best things about it is it does give you the right to actually upload your applications um, for free or for sale to the App Store. So uh, sooner or later, you're going to need it. I, I think you're going to want to do it. But uh, this is a screenshot of what uh, it's gonna, things are going to look like after you sign up. And we'll talk a lot about the provisioning portal uh, later on. Getting access to that absolutely is essential, really. Uh, so yeah, again, sooner or later, Pay the $99, it's worth it. And then uh, here are the downloads for Xcode uh, for 4.02 for uh, Snow Leopard or 4.1 for Lion. Um, and then note too that uh, you can go over here and switch to uh, the beta for uh, iOS 5. Uh, Xcode is in version 4.2 there, but we can't talk about all that stuff because it's super top secret uh, for now. So um, you'll, you know. We're still using Xcode for no matter what, but um, these are the different versions, and so you want to get those downloaded. Afterwards, we're going to make it so that you can use Cocos 2D, and let me switch over to here. Uh, what you're going to want to do is download uh, this, and uh, this is just uh, right up here at the very home page. Hopefully in the future it'll stay up there, otherwise you might have to go over here to your downloads and find it over that way. And uh, I'd go for go for the stable version, okay? They do have um, older versions and they have the, the bleeding edge version. It's a cool name. Uh, but uh, let's talk about uh, how to install this after you have uh, downloaded it. Okay, so after you've got that uh, downloaded and uncompressed, you can, uh, you can just drag the, the folder anywhere you want. I just put it on the desktop here so it's easy to show you guys. And now we're going to open up Terminal. And that is an application that is in your utilities folder. You can just search your uh, computer for Terminal and it'll come up as the application. It might uh, look more like, um, well, a white background with black text. Uh, I fancied it up a little bit. I changed the colors to look more matrixy. But uh, what I'm going to do is uh, type in. SD or CD for a change directory and then I'm just going to drag this folder right over there and then hit the return key and it might not look like it did anything but what it did is it uh, moved the location of uh, where terminal is inspecting all right so change the directory you can type ls at this point it's going to list out the uh, the contents of where you're at and you'll notice that it's listing out exactly all the same stuff that uh, you get through the finder this way uh, now all we're going to do is just copy in and paste in this line right here and once you hit return it shall install all those um, nice little templates and all the code for uh, Cocos 2D that we're going to be using throughout this course so I've already done that so let me just get that out of the way okay now with uh, Xcode open we're going to go over here to create a new project and under the iOS template section. Uh, previously you had an application and we usually picked on view based or window based. Now we're going to go over here to Cocos 2D, click on this, and let's just call this product name The Basics. All right, because that's what we're going to be going over before we handle any sort of uh, application like a flipbook. And then for company identifier, if you um, if you haven't signed up as a developer, I don't think that you would have um, 
you know what this is yet, but typically what you'll do is uh, the reverse of your domain name, so com.cartoonsmart. Uh, otherwise, uh, I believe you're safe to get away with just leaving it blank for now. Um, but if you're just tinkering around, I guess you could kind of put in, um, I suppose, anything. But um, you should have that from your, uh, your developer portal. Anyway, go over here to Next, and we are just, uh, let's just save this to right here, Create. And there we go. Okay, well, this, uh, this kind of drops us into the uh, least intimidating uh, screen possible considering uh, we, uh, we're just looking at uh, your app icons, your launch images, these supported device orientations, all these little things we can uh, click off easily. Uh, but things get complicated as soon as you start going through oh, all these intimidating things. So what I would like to do, um, because there's all these many different things that I could talk about at this point, is actually end this video and then start a couple uh, new ones, one of which I'm going to talk about, oddly enough, the final product that you're going to end up building, because I think it's, it's kind of good to know some of that stuff early on. So I'll call that getting started underscore um, the actual app or final product, whatever. And then I'll do another one that's uh, getting started, kind of a, a general tour uh, video. So you can watch either one of them right now, but just know I'm just kind of breaking this off and it'll be just a little bit easier for you guys to find later on um, if you forget some of this material.